my phone and it didn't quite work. That's right. Um, pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021 and extended again by Chapter 2 of the Acts of 2023, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so in the following manner by emailing Steve McCarthy at McCarthyS at AmherstMA.gov. That's M-C-C-A-R-T-H-Y-S at AmherstMA.gov. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. In the event we are unable to do so for reasons of economic hardship and despite best efforts, we will post on the Amherst website an audio or video recording, transcript, or other comprehensive record of proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. That done, we'll call the meeting to order at 5.03 p.m. and take a roll call. Uh, Dylan? Dylan. I'm here. Gaston? Gaston? You muted. Oh, is he, did he say here? He may be he's, going through a dead zone or something. He's on. Okay. He's on mute. He's on. He's on mute. Like his his camera froze. Okay. Um, Hallie. Here. So, what do I do if I, we've got a frozen camera? Did he say here? I'm I'm going to say here. So he's up. We have to wait. Do we have to wait, Steve? Well, uh, well, we have a quorum without him, so. Okay. So he just we'll, says uh, here whenever he he joins. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I guess for um, the uh, just gonna say for the minutes, we could note that he he was in attendance with a bad bad connection, but we okay. got the quorum. So we do have a quorum with three present and um, three present and two currently absent and possibly joining shortly. Um, okay. So the next up is public comment, and this is general public comment, unrelated to anything on the um, the agenda. So if you have general public comment and you'd like to comment, please raise the press the raise hand button at the bottom of your screen. Any public comment? Nope. Okay. Uh, moving on to uh, licenses. Okay. Special short term liquor licenses. Up first, SST 23 53, Gabrielle Gould, Amherst Bid All Alcohol, December 14th. 2023, 5 to 9, 45 South Pleasant Street. And Gabrielle. Hi, Gabrielle. Hey, guys. How are Hi. you? Good. How are you? Good, thanks. So this is the sip and stroll. At yep. So this will Hastings. be our... Exactly. So last year's sip and shop stroll. Um, the sip and shop stroll part is throughout Amherst. Um, but the maker's market is what this is specifically for. Um, oh, last okay. year, we did it at the Drake. Um, we outgrew the Drake. Um, we have more makers and creatives in Western Mass than we can fit into that space. And we have a perfect window where AJ Hastings is going to be completed for Amherst College, but not yet belonging to Amherst College. Their lease starts on in January. So um, we were able to work with the owners to allow us to use that space for this year's maker's market. Okay, great. And you submitted all the documents and the map or the diagram of where everything is going to be. Did everybody have a chance to take a look at those before the meeting? You want to just look at them again quickly? Any questions or comments about it? Um, um, as per usual, we will have tip certified bartenders. Um, mm -hmm. We will, this is, this is a very grown up and the grown ups tend to have like little humans. It's not exactly a teenager and college right. age um, mix in there. It's pottery and woodworking and glass blowing and things like that. So um, right. we're not too concerned about um, bracelets or anything like that. Okay. Um, but it's a very festive evening and, and one that I think is very beneficial to downtown and local businesses. Okay. Fantastic. Um, is there food served along with the alcohol or is it just? There will not be. Um, and we didn't do that at the Drake last year either. Um, okay. We have several restaurants participating in a three for 45. So three courses for 45. And then of course, uh -huh. the goal is to really drive. Um, there wasn't a seat empty at a restaurant last year. So that's kind of the goal is to get people out and about. We have horse-drawn okay. carriages bringing people um, from location to location, um, weather permitting, of course, this, this all could fall apart if there's a um, huge snowstorm. Right. Okay. All right. Um, any other questions for Gabrielle? No? 
If not, is there a motion to approve SST-23-53? So moved. Thank you, Dylan. Is there a second? I second. Thank you, Hallie. Um, any further discussion? If not, we'll take a vote. Uh, Dylan? Aye. Hallie? Aye. Gaston, are you able to answer? Yes, aye. Sorry. Oh, great. The, okay. the train was delayed, but now I'm where I should be. Thank you. Okay, fantastic. Great. And I vote aye. That is four to zero with one absent. Uh, the license has been approved. So, great. Thank you all thanks. so much. Hope to see you there. Yeah, That's thank fun. you. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. Thanks. Bye, okay. Uh, oh, bye. Um, okay, up next, SST-23-54, Benson Hyde Wine and Malt, uh, October 14th, 2023, 1 to 5, Lawn Outside 113 Coles Road. It's Benson Hyde. Oh, hi. Thank you for Sorry. coming. How are you? Thank you for having me. And this is, did you do this last year? No, so what we did, and I apologize, I've, I'm getting over a cold and I, I'm just getting my voice back, so if it cuts out... <laughs> I apologize for that, but um, we did um, a fundraiser for the International Language Institute in April. Okay. Um, and so this is basically a replica of that, but for the Amherst Survival Center. Okay. Okay. Um, and, and with a different, uh, you know, that was all Italian wine people, and this is going to be um, more of a mix of, it's we're working with one specific importer. Okay. All right, great. Um, does anyone have any questions about this license application? Nope, everything looked good. Um, I, I actually had a question. Oh yeah, sure. Um, and I was a little confused when um, submitting the application because I do have a couple of, um, uh, I guess they're I call them local, but they're like uh, upstate New York um, spirits makers who are interested in attending. Um, I'm able to have them just do like a regular in-store tasting that day that is separate from the event. But I was wondering, um, because I know that it's for nonprofits, or I was trying to understand the language, but it, it's, you know, we're doing this in um, raising money for a nonprofit. Right. Um, and I was wondering if that made it, you know, I was wondering where the line was for the um, all spirits or the all all alcohol license. For, um... so I... oh, so yeah. thank you for not raising yeah. the issue. It's yeah, an that important. Is good. Yeah, definitely. So, so um, do, do you want to tackle that, Dylan? Did you have? I... Yeah, I was just I was going to ask if so um, for you're doing this event, but then simultaneously while this event's happening, there's going to be uh, tastings that would typically just be part of the normal license. Am I correct? That's the idea. Exactly. Um, and it's no and part of our normal Saturdays. We, we generally try to do tastings on Fridays and Saturdays when we can get people. Yeah. I mean, Steve, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I think that there's there's no issue with that. I think it would be well, if you wanted that to be as yeah, part sorry, of the event. So, so you, you want it to be part of the event? I was wondering if I would be able to move them and have, include them as part of the event, but it would it would be the all alcohol license as opposed to the beer and wine. I just wanted to, just because I, I was having a hard time understanding how that breakdown happened. God, I, I mean, I, I think that can definitely be be part of this license. Um, Steve, does it just need to be on the application that those folks are are part of it as well? Or is that OK to just go I, with it? I think the question would be and I spoke to Ben's with this earlier and I thought I would just leave it for you all is, um, you know, there's kind of this weird thing with the short term licenses where an individual has to apply for them. But the all alcohol can only be obtained if you're doing it for a nonprofit um organization I, and i, I think the, the principle is, is that if you're going to make the the liquor level of sales then it, it should be going to a nonprofit or something like that yeah that very well i don't know the statute doesn't really talk on that 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 makes sense as a justification i don't really know what it is but that that makes sense certainly um so i guess uh, the question of the board would be you know if this is all going to the survival center would that qualify which it is. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I would think I would yeah. think so, right? Yeah. So because 
So you don't need a license for a tasting though, right? I mean, does a, does a spirit tasting, is that different from a wine so, tasting? So I'll, I'll I mean, the, uh, no, it's, so it's the tasting is part of the, um, the overall license. I know that, you know, like light up the night has had it. Um, my, my I guess my question was, I'm doing this for the, um, raising money for the survival center, but I personally am not like a officer of the organization. Oh, of a nonprofit. Oh, that's okay. Right. Okay. Okay. That's, that's yeah. where I like, I just didn't want to, I didn't want to do anything wrong. Okay. So does that change? Does this be, turn into a different license then or Steve? Can we... uh, I could just amend it. Um, can we amend just it? Just a couple of clicks of the button, I guess, if uh, Mr. Hyde makes that request formally. And that, um, that'd I'd be awesome. Leave it to the board. Okay. Do you need me to say mm -hmm. it out loud? Um, Steve? Uh, sure. I'll, I'll, can I make a formal request to amend the license so that it is an all alcohol license? Yes. Okay. Fantastic. Short term. And then um, do we have to, when the motion is made, first of all, does anybody have any questions about the application aside from the amendment to turn it into a, if not, okay. So then does the amendment have to say, uh, approving the amendment, uh, adjusting it to a non, an all alcohol I, I guess you could just term? make a motion to uh, approve the application, you know, modifying it to be a all alcohol. Okay. Does someone want to make that motion? Yeah, I'll, I'll just say I, I move to approve the license with the uh, proposed amendments. Okay, thank you. Is there a second? I'll second. Thanks, Hallie. Any further discussion about this one? If not, we'll take a vote. Dylan? Aye. Hallie? Aye. Gaston? Aye. And I vote aye. That is four to zero with one absent. Um, the short term, what is this? SST 23-54 is approved. Thank awesome. you so much thank for coming so much. in. Good luck with that. Yeah, thank event. you guys. All right. Okay. Uh, next up is SST 23 55. Oh, these are both UMass, yeah. but these are I two know. different who, who things. Did motion second, just. Uh... Oh, Hallie did the second. Uh, Dylan and Hallie, okay. Dylan was the motion. Yep. Oh, so Dylan was the motion. Hallie was the second. Okay, so now we have SST-23-55 and 23-56, which are both top of the campus and all both all alcohol. Um, UMass student lawn. So are these part of the series of short term, Steve? So one of them is the, uh, the Fine Arts Center lobby, I believe, is just another event that right. popped up. Uh, Mr. Okay. Trisbit should be here if he's able oh, to. Oh, yes, here he is. Hello, Mr. Trispit. Hi, Bill. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I just wanted to jump in and let you know that it was a pop-up type event. Um, okay. So I, I, if you had any questions, but it follows the similar path as the others for the Fire Arts Center lobby okay. reactions, so it really isn't anything different, but I figured I'd jump here and say hello. And okay. All right, great. Right. Super, thank you. And then the other one is... The other the is the um, student union lawn homecoming. Uh, oh, right, the homecoming. I mean, Megan is here. Uh, okay. Hi, right. Megan. Yeah. Right. And, uh, but the homecoming has been done before, correct? Correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's, uh, it's basically follows the same path, the pattern as last year, but my understanding is where as last or a couple years for the like two years prior, we were having everybody go into the mall area. Mm -hmm. um, following them down there, my understanding is that this year they're going to go into the student union ballroom for tours if they want, is my understanding. But Megan can jump in and let you guys know if that's in fact the case. So, okay, sure. Thank you, Bill. Uh, the so yes, the block party has been done since 2019. This year, we're reimagining it and calling it Homecoming Fest. Um, as we did last year, the beer garden will be taking place on the north lawn, which is the grass area located in between the campus center and the student union. The difference this year, um, as opposed to when we did it in 2021, as opposed to allowing individuals to enter the blue wall, which is the dining location in the campus center, we are having them go through the student union and they are allowed to bring their drinks from the beer garden in, on the North Lawn into the student union. Okay, and that's just, that's that other, the um, 
older looking building that's attached underneath by the to the blue wall correct it's the newer of the two buildings it's the newer oh the newer the brand new one okay yep right. our intention is to help showcase the building to our alumni who are coming back for the first time in however many years to celebrate homecoming okay so it's the one but okay got it thank you no um, problem. great does anyone have any questions about this did everyone get a chance to look at the documents no questions. Um, I guess we can approve these together if there are no objections. Is there a motion guess, to? Um, one question oh, I had, Megan, is that uh, the parts of the campus center are part of a licensed premises. Um, I know there's an underground passage between the campus center and student union. I don't know if there'll be any signs up or anything to say. I believe the licensed premises of the uh, campus center is the hotel upstairs, the U pub, and, um, you know, with like a storage room, but that's kind of the more important parts. So it's right. fine to have it in um, other parts of the campus center, but I don't know if there'll be signs at the, the boundary or what you'll be doing for that. Yes, that's correct. So we will have signage throughout the student union and we have actually hired uh, five security guards and one supervisor to patrol five of the main access points, including the um, that underground tunnel of sorts that links them to the campus center to instruct okay. them that they are to stay within the student union or the North Lawn with their beverage. All right, thank oh, you. Thank no you. Problem. And is there food available? Uh, yes, we will have food in the, the beer garden tent, um, mm -hmm. little snacks, for instance, that they uh, don't have to purchase. And then the blue wall will be open as well. So after they've finished their beverage, they will have access to um, the blue wall. And we are working to have the food truck also accessible on the opposite side of the student union. Okay, fantastic. Um, thank you. Um, any other questions? If not, is there a motion to approve uh, SST 23-55 and 56? So moved. Thanks, Dylan. Uh, is there a second? Second. Thank you, Hallie. Any further questions? If not, we'll take a vote. Dylan? Aye. Hallie? Aye. Gaston? Aye. And I vote aye. That is four to zero with one absent, and those two licenses are approved. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you guys very Thank much. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so that's the licenses. Um, marijuana discussion topics. Marijuana regulation. Dylan. Yes, so I'll take. The... Yeah, I'll take the lead on this. Uh, I okay. haven't done anything with it since the last time I talked to you guys. Okay. I, uh, it's a poor excuse. I, uh, I've, I've gotten gotten very busy with things and I, uh, I don't expect it to take long. Once I sit down and do it, I have to sit okay. down and do it. Um, I'm going to try to get that together uh, this weekend um, and then hopefully get something in for uh, our next meeting in two weeks when I can actually have that together. I've only got the outline done. It doesn't need a whole lot more than that, but it needs a little bit more than that. So I'll get that folks to you um, by our next meeting. Okay, super great. Thanks. And you said last time you talked to Alyssa Brewer and had I did. and thought about streamlining the whole thing at, following that conversation, correct? Yep. Yeah. I, uh, so Steve ended up, he's sending me, he sent over all the stuff we had from uh, alcohol licensing. And basically what the work I've actually done is basically dragged out the stuff out of our alcohol regs and kind of put them together in an order that makes sense. But right now it just says it's just copy and paste of everything from alcohol. And I just have to t put in the time to one, make sure that everything makes sense that it's referring to marijuana. But again, it's still taking that general approach of basically saying, does the state regulations like follow the state regulations? These are our fee structures. And then that will be, I think the thing that we're really going to talk about with it. And then um, you know, what we're doing for uh, violations and that's just kind of, uh, as it stands right now, I've just done what we're doing for alcohol. And if we want to make any changes to that as well, we can, but that's kind of the structure that I have for it. Okay, super, sounds great. Um, any current questions for Dylan? If not, okay, super. So uh, next, we'll look forward to that next time. And then uh, lunch carts and food trucks on Prey Street, plus their regulation, Steve? How's that going? Muted. I do have an update on that. Um, okay. 
the uh, town manager had had uh, discussions with some town council members about the plan, and um, he's willing to go forward with this as a as a trial run. So um, I'm going to begin reaching out to um, different food truck operators, and we will see if we can um, get uh, you know three of them, and maybe potentially next week would be the first one. Um, I've left the regulations up there. If any changes were needed for this, I don't think we will at this point. I think the the uh, building commissioner's ability to um, to issue short term permits on the um, municipal parking district will suffice. But um, we'll keep that there. If anything um, does need to be changed, and uh, okay. yeah, I will let you guys know. But uh, hopefully, if I am able to get three together, we could do it next weekend, next Friday. That'd be great. That'd be great. That's Thanks exciting. so much. Yeah. Thanks for your work, work on, on that, that, Steve. Thank yeah. you. Um, so was there anything else on, so we don't need to amend anything on food cart regu food truck regulation currently? I don't think so right now. Okay. All right. Great. Um, okay. Any other questions on this, Dylan? I just wanted to put it out there right now. I, uh, I'm still a ways away from it, but I've had this conversation with Steve that for any regulations related to food trucks i will be just recusing myself for those for any sort of votes or discussion on it i'm looking into pretty seriously right now the idea of doing like a uh, like a hot dog stand a much uh a much more reduced idea of a food truck i've been talking with um susan malone of the um for the health department over at a uh, town hall about kind of the requirements of all that so whether or not I actually go through with it is, is yet to be seen, but I think I'm considering it seriously enough that uh, I think it might be a conflict of interest if I were to uh, to weigh okay. in on those discussions at this time. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for letting us know. Um, thank you. Any questions? Any other questions? No? Okay. Um, great. So we'll look forward to that, Steve. And uh, let's see, discussion topic. D, upcoming meetings and agendas. So our next meeting, we could do the 19th or we could just skip ahead to the 26th um, to give ourselves a break. It takes us off our first and third schedule, but then we could just resume that in November. I don't think it's a big deal. Does everyone want to, oh wait, the 20, yeah, the 26th, is, is that okay for everybody? Or do you are you burning to meet next week? No? Works for me. Okay, great. 26 works for me. And so we anything would plan on the uh, November second then? Yeah, is that all right if we just do October twenty sixth and November second, or does everybody want to do it next week and then have the the last week in October? I mean, what makes sense, Steve, with what's yeah. coming? Yeah, I mean, we do have um, probably that new application for Gabe's Underground in the former Hazel space, so um, I have to check up on uh, if that'll be ready for the twenty sixth, or if we might push that to the second. But I would assume it'll be ready for one of those two. So. But probably not the nineteenth. Sure. Probably not the nineteenth, right? No, that we would be past okay. the yeah notice deadline okay. anyway for that. So if everyone's okay with doing the twenty sixth and then the second, that might make yeah. Sense. And yeah, maybe if we don't have a lot on the twenty sixth, we can delve more into the marijuana. Yeah, and it gives regulations. Dylan, yeah. Dylan, I'm happy to help with anything if you. Perfect. I uh, I, I will make again, sure to be I, uh, at hope. my desk. At that on the 26th okay awesome um all right yeah. so are there any other discussion topics i guess on the 26th we'll do the marijuana regulations maybe we'll have an update on the lunch carts um is there anything else that we needed to discuss i don't think so what what's the what's the timing on the uh, um the chair and vice chair votes and all that uh steve do you know the vice chair for the license commission the yeah when you know how frequently are we supposed to be having a an, an election like process that is a great question i will look into that yeah steve because if you could see if doug what his situation is yeah and i will if uh, i can yes dylan uh i mean i know on on zba it was uh it was really up to us whenever we wanted to hold um, the election schedule. I, I don't think there's any bylaw uh, constricting us on, on when we want to do it. It's just we elect a, a chair and a vice chair. Um, 
So we could do it whenever we wanted to. Obviously, I think we should get Doug here for it. Um, we could even do something like uh, mirroring the town council schedule where in January, uh, although it would probably make much more sense for us to do um, a regular schedule in June when appointments happen um, or July. But I think with uh, we should probably get Doug in here because uh, I, I, uh, I think it's a good point. We haven't done it in two years now. So I think we are overdue. Oh, more than that. I think it was 2020, right? Yes, yeah, three years. That's right. Because I, I tried to get, I tried to do vice chair and we got Doug and that was the last time we had one. So <laughs> I, uh, I don't, I'll tell this, I don't think I'm doing vice chair this time <laughs> around, but uh, the, uh, yeah, I think we can, I think we can do one whenever. Um, I think we can all get together. I think we should uh, formalize positions again. Yeah, that would be great. Yes. Okay. So we can put, um, what do we call that, Steve? Officer elections or something like that? Like chair and vice chair elections? That sounds good to me. We want to put that okay. on the next agenda? Put it on the next discussion. Yeah, put it down. Great. Thank you, Gaston. Okay. Topics not reasonably anticipated. 48 hours prior to the meeting. Any topics? I've got nothing. No. Okay. All right. Um, if there's nothing, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Thank you, Dylan. Is there a second? Second. Thanks, Hallie. Um, I'll we'll take a vote. Dylan. Aye. Hallie. Aye. Gaston. Aye. And I vote aye four to zero with one absent, and we are adjourned at five twenty nine p.m. Thank you, everybody. See you on the twenty sixth. Who moved? Thank, thank you. See you then. Oh, sorry. It was Dylan did the move the motion, and Hallie did the second. Is that correct? Copy and paste that. I'm running a little slow today. Yeah. Thank you guys. Okay. <laughs> we, right. we try to make it easy for you. Okay. Sounds good. Bye bye. All right. Thanks, Thanks Steve. Bye everyone. Thanks. Bye. Thank you guys.